Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and in today's video, I'm going to discuss the new rides that are coming to Southern California theme parks in 2022. So this includes, our Southern California theme parks includes um, Legoland, SeaWorld, Knott's, Magic Mountain, Disneyland, and Universal. Now, there's only about three new rides um, coming to three of those parks. So we're going to talk about Universal, Knott's, uh, sorry, Universal, SeaWorld, sea and Magic Mountain. So let's get started. Coming up first in March 2022, just in a few months, probably even with pass holder previews beforehand in February, we have Emperor at SeaWorld San Diego, and that is the tallest uh, dive coaster on the West Coast, and it's the first B&M dive coaster on the West Coast, so that'll be pretty exciting. It looks fantastic. It's kind of like a mini B&M dive coaster compared to the Yukon Striker and other ones um, on the in Canada and on the East Coast, but nevertheless, nevertheless, it has actually no mid-course break run, so it'll be cruising through the course and has multiple inversions, so it'll be probably have the same awesome feeling as a as its bigger cousins to the north and east of us. This coaster will be opening in March 2022. We have no date yet, but today actually SeaWorld announced that Icebreaker will be opening in SeaWorld Orlando on February 18th. So now I'm sorry, I've announced that one. Hopefully this week or in the following weeks, they'll announce opening dates for their other um, coasters in the chain, including Icebreaker at SeaWorld San Diego. Um, again, my pass holder previews begin January 30th for Icebreaker, so that's why I'm assuming pass holder previews will most likely begin in February for Icebreaker for a uh, official March opening to the public. Next up is Wonder Woman Flight of Courage at Six Flags, Ma Six Flags Magic Mountain. I'm looking to have an update on that this week, um, but also Todd Sue is getting repainted uh, as well, and that will be officially done being repainted in January of this year that's been open intermediately on and off during the repainting process but yeah shots will be fully completed in its orange and green color by mid-january um or mid-february and one of women flight of purge will be opening in the summer most likely of 2022 as they're redoing the whole dc universe land they've taken out the flash ride um they're going to retheme the original wonder woman flat ride and um, they took away the DC Universe Arch and built a new bar, a restaurant, and a major gift shop for the entire land. So, this will be a major, a uh, major refurb, not just for the, not just with the addition of the coaster, but for the land as well. So, expected to take a few months. I say by June, July, it this should be open. Hopefully, um, latest August. Hopefully. Won't have a West Coast racer race situation where it opens in the following year. I won't open in January, but uh, it shouldn't be that, that delayed. It's not as complex of a coaster. Um, all the foundations are already laid, and it's also not as big as a coaster as West Coast Racers, so it should be finished this summer. Um, well, hopefully it's not going vertical soon, by the way, and when we, that uh, happens, then we'll know it's getting pretty close because they're really starting to work on the land and the surrounding area right now. They should get that up and running, I'd say, by April. It should be done, and then they're going to have the coaster done maybe by May or even June. So, expect pass holder previews to start maybe a month or so, or at least two weeks before the official opening of the ride. So, maybe in May or June, we'll be waiting for that. And lastly, probably the one everyone that watches my channel is looking most forward to Super Nintendo World. Yes. Super Nintendo World. Uh, obviously, we'll have the Mario Kart ride, but this is a whole brand new land with shops, restaurants, interactive experiences, uh, with the magic, uh, the little power up bands you can build by, as well as Mario Kart, um, the slow moving dark ride, but you'll also be racing um, against Bowser and it'll be an interactive. Dark ride with AR glasses, AR, AR augmented reality goggles. That'd be cool. That'll be opening up in 2022. Um, Universal has not announced an official opening date, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go going by by 
what the rumors were, but also what the people, the tram operators, the tram hosts, um, last year said they it is opening in 2022. Um, that was earlier last year, so I'm gonna stick with that date. Um, I still believe it will open in 2022, even though there have been some delays. I firmly believe it'll open either in the summer or to coincide with the new Mario movie in like December 2022. So those holidays time frame. I feel like it'll definitely open then. Um so we're gonna stick with 2022 and hopefully their um Universal will officially confirm an opening date later on uh just heard from the first few months of this year. On Mondo's Five Fires Speculation Sunday he um said he heard that the Nintendo pop up shop will be opening on the upper lot this year. And the land will open sometime in 2022. We're not sure if the Nintendo LA store is going to take over Tilly's and City Walk, um, but we'll be watching that this year as well. Also, in for Universal, Tootsums and Poem, hopefully it'll be opening up in the summer. Hopefully they'll get back to work on that. That's been sought for, of course, a well over a year, maybe even two, but I haven't heard or anything, but it's still sitting there, so I'm hoping... And still says it's coming, so I'm hopefully that will open up in the summer, and they can get started on that maybe this month. We'll be watching that very closely. But yeah, Super Nintendo World 2022. We got um, Wonder Woman, Magic Mountain 2022, and Emperor just in a couple months in 2022. Then we have a, a big 2023 with Nazis potential Giga Giga Coaster, which we'll do if it is happening. We'll be doing construction updates on that. Um weekly or bi-weekly here at Knott's this year, and of course, Biggie Minis Runaway Railway in 2023, um, so that'll be very, very exciting, um, 2023 is a big year, but 2022 also is a big year, and we'll be about watching that Harry Potter VR rumor for Hogwarts and Universal as well. If you like this video, please like, uh, press that thumbs up button, and comment below, what is your favorite, most anticipated attraction? Coming to Southern California theme parks in 2022, or even worldwide in 2022. Um, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates, and always have a, as always, have a fantastic day.